we are we are looking at the circulatory system, and um, I mentioned earlier that this was the heart. One of the structures that is surrounding the heart is this clear membrane here, and this is the pericardium. The pericardium surrounds the heart to protect it, and I don't know if you can tell there's actually fluid that's in there that's kind of like, um, you can see it kind of coming out now. Um, that fluid helps to cushion and protect the heart, and so if we were to remove the pericardium, you can see we're moving some of that thymus gland also, you can make out some of the external structures on the heart a little bit better. And we'll zoom in even a little bit more here so you can see some of these more closely. So the heart um, has these two flaps or auricles at the top. And so this side over here is the pig's right side and over here would be the pig's left side. So this is the pig's right atrium, that little brown flap there. And then on this side, this would be the pig's left atrium. And on the surface of the heart, you can see these little lines kind of extending and branching off. Those are coronary arteries and veins. So this big, huge main coronary artery there is kind of our defining line to be able to divide the right ventricle on this side from the left ventricle that's on this side. So right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. And down here, this tip is called the apex of the heart. So one of the other structures you can make out is this white tube that's kind of in the middle of those two atria. And this is the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery, if you can tell, is actually leading back towards the lungs here. It actually goes into the lungs. And it is carrying uh, deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle. And that deoxygenated blood is going into the lungs to pick up oxygen. And it will return back to the left atrium through blood vessels that are back here. Kind of see them a little bit right there. So that is a pulmonary vein that's leading back into the left atrium, and the left atrium will send it to the left ventricle, and then eventually it'll get pumped out of this big blood vessel here that's at the top. That is the aorta, and the aorta comes up, and you can see where there's some branches that come off of there that go to the upper part of the body, but then there's also a part that comes all the way down and curves back behind here. You can actually see that behind the lungs. Um, you can see it branching all the way down. That's the descending aorta. So that descending aorta comes all the way down and it delivers blood to the lower part of the body. So a couple of things as we review again, just the pathway the blood takes. Remember blood has to enter into the right atrium from these two branches of a huge vein called the vena cava. So here, is actually the vena cava that comes from the upper body. So this is the anterior vena cava, and in humans we call it the superior vena cava, so that direction is a little bit different because we walk upright. And coming from the lower body, so this part right here, this is going to be the posterior vena cava. Or in humans it would be the inferior vena cava. So both of these veins are actually bringing blood that has circulated through the body that is deoxygenated that now needs to pick up oxygen and as it needs to pick up oxygen it's going to get sent to the right atrium from the right atrium it goes to the right ventricle from the right ventricle it's going to go through this pulmonary artery to the lungs to pick up oxygen from the lungs now this oxygenated blood is going to enter back into this uh, left atrium through these pulmonary veins and sorry you can see a little blood oozing out of there um, and so now you have the left atrium sending it to the left ventricle, and that left ventricle sending it to the aorta, and the aorta is going to send it to the upper and lower body. So aorta is here, pulmonary artery is at that angle kind of going on top of it. All right, so that's our circulatory system here. I'm going to pause for a moment, and I'm actually going to um, remove the heart and cut it open so that you're able to see what it looks like internally as well. All right, guys, so I went ahead and removed the heart. Uh, I cut all the blood vessels that were connecting it that we talked about. Um, and before I kind of point out some of the structures here and let you see what things look like internally, I wanted to show you what was going on behind the heart now that it was out of the way. So here you can see the full trachea. So remember, it started up here with the larynx, that bulge there, and then it came all the way down. And then you can see the branches that are going into those different lobes of the lungs, so those bronchi. Um, that will eventually break down into smaller bronchial tubes. And then inside of the tissues are those microscopic alveoli. So again, that's part of the respiratory system, but with our heart out of the way, we can see that a little bit better. Um, and so 
I want to show you some of these structures externally here on the heart so that we can point out the areas that we talked about but see them a little bit better uh, and more close up. So again here, we're pretending like this was the way that it was oriented in the pig. So this is our right atrium. Here's our left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, coronary arteries and veins running in that little groove there on the surface that helps us to divide those two ventricles. This big white blood vessel here is the pulmonary artery, so that was the blood vessel that was going to the lungs. You can see that tooth there. And then going anterior on the heart is the aorta. So this was the branch that was coming out of the left ventricle that was going to the body. And um, remember our entrance into the right atrium were the two vena cava branches. So we had the anterior branch, so that was this branch here. And we also had the inferior, or sorry, posterior branch, which was down here. So that one was also going into this little atrium structure. And now we can look on the back and we can see those entrances from the pulmonary veins that were leading into the uh, left atrium. So here's one of them there. And if I flip this over and open up the heart, you can see that the probe is in that atrium structure, right? So you can see where that is. So here's the inside of the heart. And yes, there's tons of blue and pink latex. So the blue latex would be uh, representative of blood that was coming from those vena cava, the um, uh, anterior and posterior vena cava, and they were coming from the right atrium into this right ventricle. And then over here, um, you would have had the left atrium up here at the top, left ventricle down here at the bottom. Look at the thickness of the wall of this muscle compared to the thickness of the wall of those atria. So these are much thinner because the atria are receiving chambers and the ventricles are actually um, pumping chambers. So they have to be able to pump blood um, from the right atrium, or sorry, right ventricle going to the lungs, and they have to be able to pump blood going from the left ventricle to the rest of the body. So you can actually also tell that the left ventricle, that muscle surrounding it, is actually thicker than the right ventricle, because think about how far the heart has to pump blood to get to the rest of the body from that ventricle versus the right ventricle just sending blood to the lungs, which is a little bit closer. So that's the internal structure of the heart. Uh, so you can go back and review the video for both the respiratory and circulatory systems. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and take the review quiz for that.